morning, shooters. In light of last night's terrible attack, I want to bring up one important thing. Traveling in safety with your family. If you listen to most of the interviews of the victims, most of the victims were tourists in that location. That location was a gun-free zone. They thought they were safe because the laws in that area said that you couldn't have a firearm there. But we all know criminals don't obey laws. Terrorists don't obey laws. We're stuck in this world, and we have to defend ourselves against the evil of this world, and it is there whether we like it or not. In the state of Texas, we have license to carry. We have the right to protect ourselves against enemies that are coming after our families, our friends, our neighbors, ourselves. Don't put yourself in an unnecessary, harmful situation. Be prepared. Be ready in case something goes wrong. Situational awareness is something I teach in my CHO class. It's something I teach in my licensed carry class. It's something I teach in my practical carry class. It's something I teach in every class I teach is situational awareness. Understand where you are and understand what is going on. If you're in a gun-free zone, you're probably in a victim for a rich environment. That's honestly what it is for these people. These people see that as a target-rich environment. That's the way their mind works. That's the way they think. They think, what can I do the most damage with and where? When you're traveling with your family this summer, and you're traveling with your friends, and y'all are going to tube the Guadalupe River, or y'all are going to San Antonio to do the Alamo, or y'all going to these locations, think safety. Think your family's safety first. Have your firearms with you. Have your firearms ready. Know your firearm. Train with your firearm. Don't just pick it up and go with it, not knowing if it's loaded or not. Don't just pick it up go with it, not knowing how it really works. Train. I shoot every week. I'm not telling y'all to shoot every week. I shoot every week because I'm an instructor and I train people every week. But you should at least shoot twice a month. You should at least know where that trigger break is on your firearm. You should at least know how to load a magazine into your firearm. Can you drop a mag, reload a mag? Do you know how to do it? Have you practiced it? Have you gotten that feel of that grip in your hand where you can get right on that holster every time, get right on that firearm every time without even looking? You know it. All these different things I'm telling you, this can be the moment between life and death for your family, your friends, and everything else. We live in a world with an active threat. We don't live in a peaceful world. We don't. It'd be wonderful. I'd love it if it was rainbows and puppies all the dead gum time. But it's not. That's not our reality. Now, we don't live in a time where you can get cut in half by a sword just by looking at somebody evil. But you can get mugged. You can get shot. Be aware. Don't live with your hand, head buried in the sand. We're, we're not a peaceful world. We're not even a peaceful nation. We have an active threat against the shooters. We have an active threat against us Americans. And we need to wake up. As we travel with our families this summer, there is a threat. You need to be aware of it. You cannot sit idly by and say, don't worry, my family will be safe. I'm in a gun-free zone. It doesn't work, people. Train. Train, train, train. Know your firearm. Know what it is capable of, what it is not capable of. Know how it shoots. Know when the trigger break's going to be. How quickly can you draw, aim, fire? Train. I bet half of you don't even know the 21 foot rule. You know that a person with a knife can cover 21 feet of ground and stab you before you can draw your firearm and shoot? Unless you know the proper techniques and the proper way to train, unless you know how to do what you're going to do, unless you're prepared, you're going to lose that fight. Your family is your responsibility. 911 is a response after the fact, not a defense. The police, are, the police are there to help you, yes. I'm not saying they're not. 
I'm not an anti-police officer person. I love law enforcement officers. I love what they do for our country. I love what they do for our communities. But I'm here to tell you, they may not always be able to get there to you. I'm in a hotel room right now. This very minute, I'm in a hotel room. If someone came through that door, there ain't a cop in the parking lot. There ain't a cop in this hotel. It is up to me to defend my family. Realize that you are the first line of defense. Realize that just because there's a little gun with a circle and a line, that doesn't mean there ain't any guns there. Be self-aware. Be vigilant. Remember, shooters, train often, train safe. We're adding new things to our Facebook and to our YouTube channel all the time. We're adding new training classes to our training schedule. I would appreciate it if all you could subscribe, like, and share this video as much as possible. Get the word out there. They, people need to train. You are the first line of defense.